today, the only goal is to take a load from my warehouse up to Flint to liquidbidding.com where they will auction it off and I'll show you guys the process as I do this. Why am I doing this? Because as you'll soon see, I may have a problem. The good news is, is that I'm not losing money on this. I mean, I pay for the warehouse, but I'd pay for that probably no matter what. The bad news is, oh my goodness gracious, look how, look how bad. No! This is one of those champion hoodies I got in the B-Stock palette. So all I'm really doing to list this is I have it bagged in a poly bag just so it doesn't get garbage on it uh, <laughs> when I take it to the auction house. And then I add it by uh, copy and pasting just a basic stock photo. I put it in this lot number right here. That lot number comes from this sticker. It's the same thing. I smack that sticker on here and then I'm done. I just, so even though you're thinking, what are the odds this is going to sell? I've sold six of these so far and the average sale price has been 20 bucks. Now to that 20 bucks, I get 1450. So is that more or less than I would get on, uh, on eBay? Probably a little bit more. I think most likely on eBay, I would have sold these for 20 bucks free shipping, popped them in a poly or no, a padded mailer and ended up netting like $10. So in this case, even though it's less work, it's still making me more money. This is how the back end looks. Pretty simple. Uh, I just submitted these 27 and then these 33 that I sent last week, that auction ends on 10 8 20. So hopefully in two days, I'll be able to update you on how much money I made from those 33 lots I dropped off. Fewer lots this week, but hopefully I'm still above $500. And when it's all done, it looks like this just a lot of stuff with these stickers on there now i drive to flint and i drop this off now just to drop off this and we will be on our way this is a bible i sold to an international buyer in canada for 39 dollars with the change of the economic foundation the entire immense superstructure is more or less rapid safe safe all of this looks safe we have some time sitting in traffic, so how about I answer a question that I'm sure a lot of you are asking. Why the heck am I doing so much local auction stuff? Did I get kicked off eBay? Did I get kicked off Amazon? No, I didn't get kicked off either of those platforms. Still going strong, but as I uh, mature as a seller, I kind of get a little bit bored with the standard uh, rinse and repeat ways of making money and I like to figure out other ways to make money not only for my own benefit but also to teach you guys more options uh, and what I'm learning as I go through that all is there's an eBay price there's an Amazon price and we all kind of knew that but there's also a Facebook marketplace there's also a local auction price there's also a friends and family price, I suppose, if you take this to its logical conclusions. So what does that teach me? Well, uh, in fact, not much. Of course, there are different prices for everything, but in practice, I become more aware, more analytical of what makes things do what. And in this case, the things are what I'm selling, and the what it do is the price it goes for. So what circumstances create higher prices what circumstances create lower prices and I don't have an answer for that yet but I'm taking notes and that's how it's done drove there dropped it off when I'm driving like this and I'm in a little back street so it's not too dangerous right now that I'm talking into my phone I like to listen to audiobooks that's what I do I'm listening to a book by Thomas Sowell right now uh, that uh, it talks about and then critiques the works of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, which is very interesting. And I would implore all of you to find ways to better yourself, to learn more things, to become more cultured and educated. On that note, I'm gonna get out of here. Have a great day and uh, get out there and make some money.